All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Unboxed here at the Vapor DNA Studios. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Vapor SO Cascade 1. Roll the clip. So this stick style device from Vaporesso comes with the Cascade 1 battery on the bottom and the Cascade mini tank on top. This device uses an 1800 mAh battery, so the battery lasts a decent amount of time. The back here you'll notice that you got your USB charger which does 2 amp charging. And overall it's got a really nice sleek 22 millimeter design, so it's not too bulky, as you can see, it's really not too tall. It kind of fits in the palm of your hand really nice. The battery itself has this really nice knurled fire button on the front of it, so you can always kind of feel around for the device. Uh, I know one thing, if you are a fan of P. Bissardo, one thing he always talks about is, the, is feeling the fire button on a device. If it's super flat and he can't feel it and move it around in his hands and tell where it is, he doesn't really like that. When I saw this device, I kind of it reminded me of those review videos that Pibasardo does where he talks about that fire button. And on this one, no matter if you're looking at the device or not, you can definitely feel that fire button and it has like a really nice feel to it. The fire button is also going to indicate your battery life as well as on and off. So to turn on the device, you just click it five times, one, two, three, four, five. And then this blinking light right here will also will indicate the battery level that your device is at. For instance, a flashing green light lets you know that the battery is at 100% to 70%. If you get a blue flashing light, you know that it's going to be 69 to 30%. And then finally, of course, if you get a red flash, you know that the battery is, is pretty much almost dead and it's going to be 29% to 0% battery life. Going up to the tank on the Cascade 1, we have the Cascade Mini Tank. What's cool about this tank are a few different features that you're not really gonna see on a lot of other tanks. For one, uh, the top cap fill me mechanism is pretty cool. So find the arrow, pull it up, and slide it out. And it's on this kind of like spring mechanism, so it never just pops up on its own. You have to pull it up and then spring it out, and it will expose the top fill. Uh, so I kind of like that, the way it feels is really nice. Uh, additionally, for cleaning and, other, and if you just want to remove the top cap, the top cap itself uh, is actually reverse threaded. So what that means is that as opposed to uh, Lefty Lucy, you're actually going to be turning it right to, to unscrew the top fill. So it comes off like that, uh, and from here you can go ahead and clean it out or whatever you want to do. And then to put it back on, you're actually just going to turn it left to tighten it. What that does is it allows, it's kind of a unique feature, uh, simply because a lot of tanks, especially ones that you've had for a while, if you go to go unscrew uh, the top cap, you end up unscrewing the device from the mod and vice versa. But what this does, is it allows the mod to stay on the device and you know if you just want to access the top cap, you turn it right. Your tank isn't going anywhere because for the tank to the mod connection, it's your standard threading. Another cool feature is that this tank has, this is in the small section here, but you can also get an expansion tank for it that brings it up to 3.5 mil. So if you want a little bit more juice uh, to go with your device, definitely get the expansion tank. At the bottom of the tank, you're gonna notice that there are three airflow slots that are actually pretty wide, so you can get a decent amount of airflow through this device. Yeah, you can get a full lung hit with this device, but what's nice is it's adjustable so you can cut it down to halfway, restricted long, even down to super tight for almost a mouth to lung bait. Then on top of the tank, you're gonna have this really nice drip tip that's nine millimeters wide in bore. So it's a decent sized drip tip that feels really comfortable while you're vaping it. And finally, this tank comes with two different coils, the GTM C-cell coil, as well as the GTM mesh coil. The GTM C-Cell 2 coil is a 0.3 ohm coil, so you're going to be using that for your standard vaping style. And then the GTM mesh coil is going to be a 0.18, so it's definitely 
for a little bit more power as well it's got that mesh inside so you're gonna get kind of like a boost of flavor is what I would describe it as now let's drop down and take a look at what comes with the vapor so cascade one kit so inside the kit you're gonna be getting your bag of spares your two GTM coils and then a really nice high quality USB charging cable as well as the device itself all right guys that was a look at the cascade one all in all, I think it's a really solid stick style device. Um, I think that the fact that they didn't just slap any regular old tank on, that they actually added some new features with this tank is really nice. Uh, I really like the top fill design as well as the reverse threading. And I think, you know, for the price, it's actually a really good deal. Thanks for stopping by and watching another one of our unboxings here. Uh, we really appreciate the view and thank you for taking your time to watch one of our videos. If you liked the video, go ahead and give us a like. Subscribe to our channel for all the future unboxings, vlogs, and all the other content that we put out on this channel. And then, you know, don't forget to hit the bell notifications because you want to be notified as soon as we drop another unboxing. Because everybody knows that uh, the world is just so stoked when we put out an unboxing. Hopefully, we'll see if I don't know if, if anybody cares. So yeah. Anyways, thanks guys for stopping by. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Peace out.